Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. You know, as I said earlier, uh, we don't want to take side in this saga that is going on in the Kran community. But sometimes, uh, truth needs to be told. And when you are telling the truth, you can't sit on the fence. You have to say something explicitly. Now, one of the food soldiers, I want you to listen to this v note clearly. I want you to, to listen to this broadcast. It's kind of lengthy, but pay attention and listen to it. A lot of things to decipher. I don't want to impose our own conclusion from our own investigation to you so that you take side or make a conclusion. But I want you to listen to this. Listen to this critically and deduce for yourself. I think we are all adults and we have common sense. When we listen to this, we'll be able to put one or two and know what is really going on, what is going wrong, and uh, who to at least say, let us have small hope because all of them are the same. AGPGN, UAAG, all of them are the same because at the beginning, all of them ganged up together to do to the masses what is the recurrent decimal now. So I can't come here and tell you that this person is innocent, this person is innocent, this person is guilty. All of them are in the same school. So, but what we are moving forward to do now is let somebody disperse. Enough is enough. Let somebody disperse. So listen to this. We'll see the other end. Listen to this critically. You really know what is going wrong. And you know from the camp, anybody is coming from when you listen. Just listen. Good see evening, the other side. Community. Good evening, everybody. Afternoon, good morning, good night, also depending on the time when you are or when you will listen to this very voice note. I hope your day went well today. We all give thanks to the Almighty God our Father. Uh, my people, just very briefly, I want to talk to us very briefly. Today, so many people in Grant community are shaking, 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 shaking. Many people have called me today. Many are not, uh, in fact, in their mind, they are not stable. After listening to the voice note of uh, Admiral early today, I don't know whether that voice note was a meeting that he had in his platform. I don't really understand. But I want us to understand something that Rio has always been a liar in Grant community. There is nothing that Rio has ever said since I started listening to his voice in Grant community that has ever come to reality. Nothing. You may ask me which one has come to reality. Some certain things we have said, many other people that are talking in Grant community, many people that are talking some things they have said has come to pass the only thing that people have spoken that have not come to reality is disbursement and uh, disbursement would have taken place if not for the enemies of the masses at least days back we would have had the disbursement if not that the enemies started carrying out their propaganda uh, activities. I want us to understand that Admirio does not even know what is happening. Admirio is deriving or taking his information from all the noise that is going on in the grand community. If you are listening to him very well, you will understand what I'm saying. That he gets his information from what he hears from one platform, one platform or the other. 
and then he would he would then add his own salt and sugar and then people will begin to believe him please grant community nobody should believe admin Rio. what did he say he told people that uh, apostle dr ken wakama has been removed from the office of the country director of uaag that uh, he has been also been removed from being a signatory to the disbursement account and now it is only abdul pastor john and pastor felix that are in charge and they are the people working with the government committee what a lie from the pit of hell please let us be calm do not allow this young man's voice note to disturb your life do not allow his voice note to disturb your mind do not allow his voice note to take to discourage you or take you away from the truth the truth remains that except the government of nigeria which is in charge of this very grant at the moment except the government decides and said apostle and said to apostle ken that they will no longer recognize him as the country director and uh, because nobody can fight the government and uh, survive it ken will be quiet if they tell him anything like that but for the fact that god is on his throne ruling over the face of man the truth everyone in the grant community need to understand and know is that apostle ken is the person that his name is in the document and is in charge being the one that will stand to share this money to the grant community in nigeria not abdul not pastor john that they are carrying up and down not Pastor Dawood, not pastor felix all these people are have formed all grand pressure group of kogi state because they are all from kogi state these four names i mentioned are all kogi people and if they say that all grand pressure group is for nigeria then they need to reshuffle some things they need to remove some people from the executive arm of the organization and allow some credible people to work let me tell you something maybe some of you did not understand it they want to they brought this propaganda because the money is now available and ready to be shared when the money has not landed they have always projected apostle king to us as the country director director of uaag which is really the truth but when the money landed they decided the satan the spirit of money mammon now entered into all of them and they decided to be the ones that will share the money they decided to project Pastor John, so that they will make Pastor John a remote. They will use their, they, they will become remote control over Pastor John when the disbursement commences. They will now be the ones that will tell Pastor John either to disburse to A or to B. They will be in charge. But God will never allow that. To happen because that is error and the word of god the bible we read said that evil can never reign or rule over the good evil can never rule over the good 
it can never stand and therefore let everybody be calm so many of you that are already discouraged after hearing the voice note of Admiral, please do not mind that young man he has always been a serial liar and has nothing to 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 give to anybody let me tell you Rio, you see, is a businessman. He made a voice note only because he is trying to protect the NGOs and cooperatives he registered and has uh, paid some amount of money, which he, uh, after submitting them to uh, all Grand Pressure Group. So, what is subject, uh, submitted to UAAG is just peanuts to compare the number of NGOs and cooperatives he has given to the camp of Abdul and Co, the all grand pressure group. So he's just trying to protect his business there. That is all. That is why he could come out to say all that rubbish. So let nobody be discouraged. Let nobody uh, be, be discouraged. That is just the word. Don't be discouraged. Don't allow that thing to disturb your mind. Don't allow that voice note of Admiral to disturb you for any reason. You don't know what is happening. And I want you to know that Abdul and Co. There are some certain things they cannot tell somebody like Admiral because they know that Admiral is not someone to be trusted. He's only there to do his business and go away. You understand? And uh, even if they tell him anything, whatever they tell anybody, they know they are standing on the wrong side. And remember, let me tell you people, grand community, we need to be praying, praying for Apostle Ken, praying for the successful disbursement of this money, praying for the government committee, the people in charge, the government officials in charge. We need to be praying for these people. You know why? Because Abdul and Pastor Zauri, his brother, and uh, Pastor Felix, those Kogi people, they saw it that they are in charge as far as all grand pressure group is concerned. And then they commanded that every one of them in that executive arm of the organization must take an oath. And the oath should be that when they take that oath, that they will bring up a propaganda to discredit Apostle Ken Wakama never to disburse this money. That this money must be under their control. Abdul is not even fighting to be the one that to disburse the money. Uh, Ostras Daoud is not fighting to be the person to be personally the one that to disburse the money. Neither Pastor Felix. But they want to project Pastor John so that they will make him a puppet in their hand. They will control his, everything about him as far as the disbursement is concerned. Why? Because they are greedy and selfish. They do not even want to say that they are now, let, they do not even want to say, let them be, let them make due with the subscription money they have received so far from the masses. Which ranges from 150,000, 200, 300, 250. Some people even said that they paid them 5,500, 300, 200, 250. Myself, I paid. And therefore, if another person paid, so many people paid, thousands of people paid, they are not even contented with that. But they are going about. They have taken oath that the money will not be shared by Apostle Ken, even though he is the right person that will share the money. 
But Satan deceived them. They will take such oath. I thank God for godly people who decided never to partake in such oath and who became their victim of eviction and suspension. I mean Adas Zion and Comrade Livingstone. It is very unfortunate that uh, Pastor Felix Amokwiton said that he is a pastor. A pastor who participated in such wickedness. Pastor Felix, does the Bible you read never told you, did Jesus never tell you in the Bible that you should not swear either by heaven or by anything on earth or under the earth? Let your yes be yes and let your no be no. Did you, did you not, did your Bible, the one you are reading, I don't know the type of Bible you are reading, did the Bible you read not tell you anything like that? And you went ahead to take such wicked oath to jeopardize the disbursement of this fortune that God in his infinite mercy brought to us for us to partake and receive so that we will make our lives better through that God will make our lives better in this country it's a shame it's a shame it's a shame I want to advise anybody that participated in that it doesn't matter the religion where you belong either you are a Christian or a Muslim or a traditionalist or whatever where, where uh, whatever religion you belong to and you participated in such good because of the things mundane things of this life because of money that is here that has been here on earth and we came and met it and it will remain and you will go okay hear what my bible said in the book of uh, First Timothy, I'm talking to Pastor Felix now. In the book of First Timothy, chapter 6, verse 6 and 7, there the Bible said, that verse 6 and 7, the Bible said, but godliness and contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is, and it is certain we can call, carry nothing out. That is to say that naked, we human beings came to this world. And the day you are leaving this world, the day you will leave this world, you will live empty and naked. We are here in this country, Nigeria, and we have seen presidents that have ruled this country that died. After sitting on money, the affairs of the nation, the business of the nation, and after living their lives, they have died. President, I'm not talking about presidents of other countries of the world. I'm talking about presidents that have ruled this Nigeria. They have ruled this country and have died. They left everything they have acquired in this life they left their mansions they left their money in the bank the dollar the euro the pounds the naira they left everything and died and went down to the grave never to return back to live there forever until the coming of christ we have seen governors that have ruled this country nigeria they have ruled their different states here in nigeria and they have died and left all the money, both the ones they embezzled, the ones they made genuinely, the ones that people gave them free, the, if all the wealth they have acquired in this life, all the mansions they have acquired even in overseas, in London, in America, in Canada, and so many other places around the world. They left all those things and died and then went down to six feet under the earth to live forever. Never to return again until the day of rapture. 
when the final judgment of God will take place. So why are you doing all we are doing now? I'm talking to all those people that are parading themselves, making every effort in evil way to make sure that you take away this mandate from Apostle K. All of you I'm talking to you right now. What will be your gain? If after doing all these things and if God allows you to succeed this in this evil and you succeed and at the end of the day you go to hell because of this wickedness, what will you gain? And that is why my Bible said that it is my Bible said Mark chapter 8 verse 36 and 37 there the Bible said, What shall it profit a man? What shall it profit a woman? What shall it profit UAAG? What shall it profit all Grand Pressure Group of Nigeria? What shall it profit Grand Community members in this country? If anybody gains the whole world, and at the end of the day, you lose your soul to Satan in hell, and that was verse 36, verse 37. Say, What shall a man, what shall a woman, what shall any member of this community give in exchange for his soul? Do you not know that you have a soul? Your soul is the spirit controlling this body you are carrying now. This body, some of you were hungry men and women before now. I will always be very, very bold to say this because I remember sometime, I think that was in 2022 or early 2023, I can't remember. But if I make investigation, I will remember. That period, when demand was made, when you people made a demand, the Nigerian Grand Community should help you people in your stay in Abuja. I'm talking to all Grand Pressure Group of Nigeria, Abdul and Co, all Stars Dawood and Co. You people made a demand that we should help you people in your stay. That time when you people made some voice note, you say that about three or four of you will sleep in one bed in one hotel room and you are squatting some of you say you are squatting somewhere some of you say sometimes you sleep in a, in a place that is very far away from the town and we pitied you people the ngo where i belong made a demand and begged us in the platform that we should contribute money for you people i contributed i contributed because we saw it that you people were fighting for us. At the end of the day, at this moment when this money should have been shared, so that your names would be written, could be written in gold, as far as the Nigerian grant community is concerned, you began to bring, you, you brought up this propaganda. Why should it be Apostle Ken that should disburse this money? Why should it be him? why and you began to sometimes you began to uh, to bring up uh, tribalism and the rest of it why should it be him and you vowed and may took an oath never to allow this man to disperse this man then let us watch and see if evil we rule over the good and if it happens then god almighty have let me not say this because nobody can question God <clears throat> but I know that God is righteous and God can never support evil if he will do that he would have allowed Satan to have his way in heaven but because God is righteous when Satan began to mess up in heaven God, God through his Holy angels chased him down from heaven. 
and never to return there ever again forever therefore you people should allow this disbursement to take place you must allow this disbursement to take place before the masses will react before the masses will react because the masses are angry and masses are hungry people are hungry people are dying no money for school fees no money for house rent no money for food look at the cost of things in the market but you people have collected our money subscription for more NGOs and cooperatives and we have been collecting our money free money and now extorting money from the masses any amount you have if you have 150,000 if you have 200 if you have 300 if you have 500 according to the highest bidder pay your money and bring up your your money your your NGO name the CEO name the the phone number uh, the account number the bank name and uh, your email that is how we have been submitting it to you people and you have the infantry to give a command that all the financial commitment made to apostle Ken and UAG should be submitted to you people you are not ashamed you people are not ashamed of that you are not ashamed with your evil brain you people should be quiet I don't blame you because you have some psychophants coming out to support you people all well in the brazen and uh, uh, what's that his name again admin Elise Peter Eliezer psychophants in the grand community Psychophants. Psychophants coming out every day to make noise and to talk rubbish. All of you have extorted money from the masses. I was hearing, I was listening to uh, 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 Admin uh, Ellis when he was talking against Nwaga uh, And at that time he was talking as if he is a saint. You did not tell us how much Angwachu uh, gave to you, the one you ate from the money you people collected. You did not tell us. You will always be quick to come out to say you have exited yourself from so 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 thing. Uh, you are no longer in charge. You are no longer collecting. You are no longer doing this. Ah. Some of you have serious questions to answer God on the last day. You people should know that a day of reckoning is fast approaching. Let me preach you a little. Something happened in the Bible. If you go to the book of Matthew chapter 24, everybody listening, especially Pastor Felix Amukwiton, Adminelis, uh, uh, even Abdul and uh, all stars that would all of you should listen to this because we are all human beings and we are all one brothers and sisters because everybody existing here on earth came from Adam and Eve the religion where you worship God does not matter now. What matters is for you to do the right thing. Knowing fully whether one day you will give account to the Almighty God, whether you like it or not. And in God's judgment, now that you people are running around giving bribe, bribing this person, bribing the other person, so that they will stand by you to take the mandate away from Apostle Ken. Promising billions you will give to somebody so that Please, hear this. The word of God said, in Matthew chapter 24, from verse 1, 
in your own convenient time you can read that place and i just want to be brief i want to pick something from there in your own convenient time you can read from verse one to end but a day came when jesus was here on earth he traveled to jerusalem with his 12 disciples and when they came to jerusalem <clears throat> the disciples were taking him around showing him the building of the temple of god in jerusalem and jesus told them something he said that the day will come when there shall be no stone on top of another and uh, this word confused them jesus left them and after a while they came to him where he was sitting and began to ask him this thing you told us we did not we did not we didn't understand it now tell us what and what will be the sign of your coming back to this world at the imminent end of the world tell us and jesus did not wait, waste time to answer that question he said when that time comes the time of my coming back to this world which we christians know as the day of rapture the day jesus will come back to this world to take the saints the righteous ones those that are maintaining holiness in their lifestyles back to the kingdom of god and he said be not deceived for many shall come in my name and shall deceive many he said again that when that time comes we begin to hear about rumors of war everywhere all over the world he said again that when that time comes that we should we will begin to hear and see earthquake happening and taking place in diverse places around the world he said again that when that time comes we begin to see hardship hardship suffering sorrow sicknesses and diseases all over the places around the world he said again when that time comes that we will begin to see um fake prophets all over the places around the world my dear brothers and sisters i want you to listen very carefully do you know the highest big man on this earth the highest big woman i mean that person that is very rich in this life do you know the person the person is not people that have high scrapers house uh, that have a high scraper high skyscrapers and whatever all these things you are looking at as riches and wealth the highest rich man and rich woman on earth is that person that is able to eat rice when he, he or she wants to eat rice and at a particular time when he wants to you to eat uh, a, a bar or two or uh what does my our people in yoruba call their own swallow or when you want to eat beans anything and then you have the money in your pocket to eat that kind of food you want to eat at a particular time and you want to drink water you say this uh, sachet water i don't want to take it i want to take a bottle of water or this water from the well i don't want to take it i want to take pure water because you can afford it and then where you are living the house is not your house it's not it doesn't belong to you you are a tenant and when the time comes for you to pay your rent you are able to pay that rent and then if god blesses you so well you get yourself a mobile movement get yourself a car you buy a car no matter the model or style of the car you buy but the point is that whenever you want to make a move to a certain place 
you enter your car, drive yourself to that place without going to stand on at the bus stop to hustle to enter bus and uh, thereby if case no if you are not careful picking pocketers will take they will break into your pocket and snatch your money away when you have the capacity if god blesses you and you are able to be in this capacity of things i have mentioned now you are the highest you are one of you are one of the highest richest and biggest men and women we have on this planet earth every other thing coming to you above all i have mentioned now they are just jara that god has given to you and what why am i saying this i want i'm saying this because i want every one of us to understand that when this money we are expecting is disbursed to us every one of us by the grace of god will be able to attain this position because so many families so many of our brothers and sisters here in nigeria are not capable enough to attain this very position many are hungry many have no place to live many cannot provide food for themselves talk more of not talk more of not talk of uh, uh, not they cannot provide for themselves and uh, even their family members they cannot feed themselves alone talk more of their family members many people are in fact are so wretched that only god sustains them waiting for the manifestation of the disbursement of this money so what is the essence of delaying this money from being disbursed because you want to be the one that will disburse it and because you want to have as much of it as you can what is the essence of it when you know that one day you will leave this money and go away to meet your creator why are you doing all that why must you take oath just for you to be in charge for you to snatch the more the mandate away from the the person that's supposed to do it the person you have already projected to the masses are you not making mockery of yourself are you not my people my brothers in our grand pleasure group of nigeria executive think about all i have said here now and make a u-turn no influence that this world does not belong to you no influence that this world does not belong to anybody it does not belong to any man no influence that the money we are about to receive is not your money you did not bring this money you did not even know the day this money entered this country i mean the day the people that brought this money started fighting for it and brought even the document that contained that money you didn't know you were just opportune to be where you are today just by the mercy of god why not appreciate the mercy of the mercy of god upon your life why not appreciate the grace of god upon your life why not appreciate the privilege god has given to you to be where you are today and you want to use that privilege to to sit upon the promises in nigeria and thereby you are delaying it because you are all of you are now serious big men and millionaires you don't lack anything anymore remember that god is watching and remember that lies and evil does not last long whatever you are doing now god according to the bible i read in the book of ecclesiastes the bible said that Though God allow, though God, though God does not uh, bring His judgment as quickly as man wants it, He allows you to have your way. He allows human beings to have their way and to do whatever they want to do. The reason is because God does not take pleasure in the death of a sinner, but rather He takes pleasure in the death of a saint. And because He's quiet does not mean that he is weak to judge you 
but rather is giving you that opportunity to do everything you want to do, knowing fully that one day you will come back to your senses and make a U-turn. Now that you have heard my voice in this way today, I am Mr. A.B. I'm sorry I did not tell you my name from the beginning. I am Mr. A.B. Therefore, all of you fear God today. Fear God. Anything you can do to push the disbursement to take place, do it. Stop dragging it. The same oath you took against Apostle Ken, renounce it now. All of you that took that oath, come together and renounce it. Or stars the hood. You always say Allah, 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 Allah. Every time you write and you say Allah, Allah, Allah. Allah you are talking about. Is Allah not the Almighty God? Are you talking about another being? Is it not the Almighty God we are talking about? And we are sitting on lies and we calling the name of the Most High God. Rethink and do away with evil. Come back to God, your Creator. Now you people have made yourselves a mockery in grand community. You are people we are respecting. And today you have made yourself a mockery. You have dragged yourself on the mud in the Nigerian grand community. Nobody takes you people serious anymore. Because people have seen that you are the enemies of the masses. You are the people sitting on the disbursement. You are the people that does not want the disbursement to take place all this while. And you always come out to tell us lies. Come back to God. Rethink. To the path of peace. To the path of reconciliation. To the path of making sure that this money is disbursed. Whatever you will get, you will get. Already, you are all made now. And every other thing you will receive, Ajara, therefore, come back. As for Elis that has been promoting that evil because of your own interest, because of the number of bundles you pushed in into all grand pressure group, because of the number of NGOs and cooperatives rather that you pushed in to all grand pressure group, so that you pack after packing all the money, if they succeed in paying you, after packing them, what will you do with that money? Admin Elis, what are you going to do with the money? You build houses. Are you going to marry a second wife? Eh? You are a Christian. Remember, Christians also marry two wives. Those Christians that marry two wives, they know Jesus forbids it in the Bible. Are you? Are, is it not only building house you will build? You build some businesses on uh, on, on the internet, and uh, you buy cars. And uh, what again? You travel abroad to enjoy yourself. You enter cruise ship from Europe to Canada to America and enjoy yourself. Because what if not all these ones I've mentioned? What again do you want to use the money to do? That made you to support evil to this extent. That made you to bear grudges against Apostle Ken. Last time I said, maybe you have done some businesses agreement with him and it does it didn't work well maybe apostle Ken did not keep his own part of the business deal or whatever i don't know i'm just saying that made you hate him this much and we are doing everything possible kicking against him why are you doing that but you forgot that you too you are carrying shit all over your cloth and people are looking at you you no longer have a voice in grand community. Therefore, I urge you to keep quiet. Admiral, I don't need to talk to you because we all know you. Everybody in grand community know you as a liar. You are own is just to collect money, collect support, support, admin support, support, support every time, support, 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 support uh, press conference, support uh, newspaper publication, support uh, radio. TV publication and people will be doling money, donating money for you, and you'll be using their money to subscribe for for more NGOs and cooperatives uh, 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 on the, at the other side, 
or whatever you're using the money to do, living well. Why those suffering masses are do uh, donating money for you? I, th I don't need to talk to you because everybody knows you as a liar. So, my dear people in the grand community, please do not allow anything to disturb you. The money is here. And shortly it will be shared. God is with us. And God is helping us. Therefore, let everybody, as those for those that are fighting, sheet your sword. Allow this thing to, to take place. So that every one of you will be remembered for good and not for evil. I greet you all and I pray, may the Lord God Almighty bless you and bless you and bless every one of us, including me and our families and keep us alive to receive this money. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.